The American Musical, there is so much oh social goodness. and cultural history surrounding it, and there's an organization that works to educate folks of all ages on the art form. Yes, and joining us right now are Heather Meeker and Britty Serson uh, from the Musical Theater Project. Thank you, ladies, for being here. Yes. Musical Delighted Theater, be here. let's have at it. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. This really is. Let's talk about who this really focuses in on. Right, so the Musical Theater Project, we are an arts education nonprofit. We're actually celebrating our 20th anniversary this Aww. year. Um, Happy anniversary. And as you said, we are really dedicated. We have a very unique mission okay. in that we share and celebrate the social and cultural history of this American art form. We do that through concerts across Cleveland. We do it in school programs. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. Right. Across Northeast Ohio, radio programs. And while all of our programs are really entertaining and really educational, they're also meant to deeply connect us through the art form. Yip Harburg, who is the lyricist for all the songs in The Wizard of Oz, once said that words help us to think a thought, that music helps us to feel a feeling, mm. but that a song in a musical helps us to feel a thought. And Aww. that is the great advantage. <laughs> all of our programs are meant to, to live in that place. Well, think about what music yeah. does in general. Right. Like, it's a mood changer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really right? is. And a universal Completely. language at that, too. So yeah. those feelings are real. When you said yes. that, I actually got chills. I, because, I did, too. I mean, like, we did, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's I awesome. I thought you did. Yeah. So you have the program, The Kids Love Musicals. Yes. So yeah. talk about that. And, you know, you've literally brought it into classrooms. Yes, we actually bring musical theater into the classroom. And it's so important because arts are declining throughout uh, the U.S. right now. Mm -hmm. And it's so important that we bring that back into the classroom. We're watching, we're watching them right now totally dive into Singing it. Singing and dancing. Oh, this is That's great. what we do. So we combine um, classic American literature and musicals based off of them. So we do Cinderella, oh, The Jungle Book, The Wizard of Oz, Peter Pan, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown and we take the timeless stories of these characters mm -hmm. and we combine them, um, allowing the students to really learn through arts integration, mm -hmm. as well as then the teachers who can reach their objectives with their students. So it goes way beyond the song and the dance. Yes, it does yes. go beyond the song and the dance, and it's our job as teaching artists to really create that magic. So when we walk in the classroom, we actually don't start with introducing ourselves. We start by singing. So I might come in and sing, somewhere over the rainbow, and right from that moment, Moment, we have the kids, oh, right? Yeah. Like you they're with us. You got me. I'm yeah. right. Yeah. So oh, we. <laughs> 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 right. That's right. great. We can't even. Yeah. And, and our colleague um, Jody Millie Kirk, who is our director of active learning programs, is a master um, curriculum developer. She really ensures that our program is student centered, as you saw in the video, that it's play based, that it's playful, and that it's really inclusive as well. We also serve students with intensive needs in special education classrooms um, all over oh, wow. Northeast Ohio. Um, and so we really try to get at the not only the arts learning, where we're learning to express and be creative and, and use our imaginations, but also academic learning. All of our programs are grounded in English language arts state standards, mm -hmm. for example, and supporting those. And then also socio-emotional learning skills, which often get identified as soft skills, sure. but they're actually the most essential oh, skills. So important. Things right. like problem solving, things like taking turns, things like looking each other in the eye and seeing how each other is feeling. Um, these are things that are absolutely essential and, and in a world of, of, of in the world of social media, yep. Yep. and in this day and age, right. we don't right. know how to look in each other's eyes. Yes, That's right, right, right? That right. is absolutely right. Yeah. So, thank essential in goodness classrooms. this is happening. Yeah. It's music therapy on a whole different level. You know, I, yeah. and I love the fact too that if you did break down music, it's a science, and yes. you're looking into that. So if you're using that side of your brain and you can excite that, then yes. you can actually open up other worlds and other subjects. I will say that how difficult it is probably for other teachers that have to take the class after this <laughs> <laughs> to, to deal with. It's got to be hilarious. I think that they have such a fantastic time, and they gain so much from watching their students participate I in bet. this. Not only watching them sing and dance and be able to move and learn the lyrics to these classic songs, right. but also being able to see the kids and hear them and their stories. Because when we can reach them at the heart connection that we do, right. it really provides a whole other level. And the teachers get a lot from Pretty watching that Heather, too. is that the reason why show tunes are ingrained in our heads and we can bust <laughs> them out? I mean, I can't remember my ATM code, <laughs> but, 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 but I can tell that. you yeah, yeah, yeah. third and fourth verses of show tunes. We often talk about the fact that combining song 
with movement, mm -hmm. with theater and, and play. Right. It provides so many access points. Those are the kinds of things that just get hardwired into our they brain. Do. And so when we can hear that some students are, you know, two weeks after we've been there, that they're still singing all of the songs that they right. practice with Bridey and our other amazing teaching, professional teaching artists, that is where we live. I mean, you've really tapped into something brilliant. And I'm just thinking all the places it can go just because yeah. the triggers that are there what could be taught through this? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, sky's the limit. We're constantly amazed. We'll be, we'll be learning <laughs> algebra as we sing. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. I mean, think about no, that. No, it's true. It's, it's fun. Well, when we yes. first learned our ABCs, it was to a, right. a tune. My right. kids sing yeah. the ABCs backwards. Uh, there because are, they were taught that way. So both ways. That's, and so that's I, cool. And I'm always like, wow. There, there, <laughs> are, there are teachers who come and, and tell us after the fact that there are certain students where they've been surprised at how they've been engaged with our program, that they've seen them do things they've never done before. Non-verbal right. non students, students who students? the next year are singing so a solo. If someone's watching this real quick, how do they get involved with this? Yeah, so uh, we have the website and okay. the phone number that will be on your screens right. and contact us. Um, there is an extension for Kids Love Musicals and there's a form you can fill out online and you'll okay. contact me. I'm the program yeah. coordinator for the screen. Musical Theater Project and we would love to talk to you about getting um, our program in your schools. We're just now also opening up our entire calendar for next year's scheduling too. Okay. So whether it's it's, you know, talking to us about now or talking to us about next year. We want to help them with their plans. This is really, really exciting. We're going to do some Porgy and Bess during the commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both ladies for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, for your you. passion. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, yes. awesome. This segment of It's About You was furnished by the Musical Theater Project.